guys, it's Taylor, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about top five, well, that's ten. We're going to be talking about my top five books to read when you're feeling down. Um, so it's the beginning of the school year, and for some of us, we're not even going back to school, and it's easy to get, it's easy to get caught in a school sort of work slump. And so I'm going to be suggesting some books that you might want to read that are kind of light and fun and that you can pro you can pick up whenever you're feeling down. So without further ado, let's get started. So this first book is sort of a light romance, and if you follow me on Twitter or Goodreads, you'll know that um, I think this book is just okay. However, I do think it's a good book to read when you just want something light and fun and sweet. And that is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sonia Menon. I think this book... I had problems with this book. I had a couple of problems. But I still think it's cute. It's fun. I've met Sonia Menon in person and she's super cute and fun. So I think if you're feeling down, it's a nice slow... not slow, but it's a nice smooth read. Next up we've got the Lara Jean Trilogy by Jenny Han. Uh, as you can tell, my sister and I have really ravaged these books. The last one is kind of ripping. These books are really fun to go to um, if you want something nice and, for lack of a better word, aesthetic. Lara Jean's always making cupcakes or crafting, and it's just kind of really nice to read. It's relaxing. I read this um, when I was on jury duty serving on a kind of difficult case, and these books really helped me kind of get through the stress of kind of deciding on some important issues. So I think these would be a really good series to read, or you could just read them individually. They're nice. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and mention The Adventure Zone, by Here There Be Gerblins by Clint McElroy, Griffin McElroy, Justin McElroy, Travel Travis McElroy, and Carrie Peach. I think that's right again. I always get this wrong. But, th like I always say, these graphic novels are all about having fun, laughing at yourself, and just being stupid. It, it started off as a podcast between three brothers and their father, uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons together, and it turned into this phenomenon that people absolutely love. In these, this series, you're going to be following the wizard Taco Taco on his quest to find and understand what a taco is. You're going to be following Magnus Burnside, who just rushes in, no regard for his safety. You're going to be following the dwarf, uh, Merle Highchurch, or Hightower, he never gets his name right, and he has a weird affinity for plants. It's really funny, it's all about being goofy, I highly recommend listening to the podcast first before you start the graphic novel, but you could probably start the graphic novel and get into it, but start with the podcast. And because almost no video goes by without me mentioning Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Hogwarts for a lot of people is like their second home. And reading Harry Potter is just like coming home. So sometimes when I'm down, I'll pick up a Harry Potter book and maybe I'll just read a couple chapters. And then I can't stop, so then I read a couple more and it's a downward hill slope. But it's still nice to read when you're not feeling up to life. And finally, we've got the Percy Jackson books. I'm slowly making my way through the series, but the series is so funny, so lighthearted, and such a throwback to Greek mythology, something I was really interested in when I was a little kid. And I think these books are definitely worth reading no matter what age you are, but I do think you'll get a little more out of it if you're um, younger. But still, these books are fun, they're funny, and they're cute, like, quick little adventures for you to read. They go by really quickly. I've read these books in, like, one or two days. And those were five books to read if you're in a slump or if you need to be cheered up. Uh, let me know what books you guys read to cheer yourselves up down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!